The Arnold Classic is around the corner and RX Muscle has you covered with previews and analysis from the top minds in bodybuilding and interviews with the top competitors and personalities in the sport. It's RX Muscle's Iron Road to the Arnold, sponsored by SciTech Nutrition, only on RXMuscle.com. Welcome to the Arnold Classic Week here at Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark on Dave Palumbo, and today is Friday, March 4th, 2016. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Grind mode is still fully activated for the one and only Al Augusti. Earlier this week, the man they call the hybrid leaked some footage from a recent leg training session, where we see him putting in the type of work that reaps dividends down the road. Augusti was one of the real feel-good stories of 2015, making his return to the stage after being sidelined for more than two years with a variety of injuries. When he's in shape, Augusti has one of the prettiest physiques in the entire 212 division, but a few more pounds of muscle would go a long way towards helping him trade shots with some of the 212's thicker athletes. Now that he's gotten in two full injury-free years of training, who knows what new muscle or dangerous weapons he's been able to add to his already dangerous game. There's a pretty exclusive club of athletes who could lay claim to having won four or more Olympia titles, including reigning and defending four-time 212 Olympia champ Flex Lewis. Recently, the baddest man in the 212 division was seen grinding his way through another intense off-season chest workout as he prepares to become the first athlete in the 212 division to win five standout trophies. Although he wasn't quite as dominant last year as he's been in the years past, the fact remains that Lewis has flat out owned every stage that he's set foot on since 2012. And at just 32 years old, he has a legitimate shot to become the first man to eclipse the mark of eight Olympia titles. As long as he keeps training wisely and remains injury free, it's hard to imagine anyone even coming close to knocking him out anytime soon. Sometimes, if you want to do great things, you've got to get outside the box of comfort. And apparently, Brandon Curry is doing just that. Late last week, Curry released footage from a recent chest and bicep training session, where we see the former Arnold Brazil champ digging deep into his bag of tricks to kick things up a few notches. Last season was all over the map with his contest placings, from his spectacular win at the Toronto Pro to an Olympia performance that I'm sure he'd rather forget. If he can just find a way to eliminate some of the distractions and get into shape, no one doubts that Brandon Curry has the potential to have a really special year. Just about five weeks out from setting foot on an IFBB stage for the first time, rookie 212 pro Santi Aragon looks like he's well on his way to making some noise. This week, Aragon released his most recent progress photos, showing off a very impressive level of conditioning for this point in his contest prep. If you remember back to when Aragorn won his pro card at the 2014 Nationals, he was probably the hardest athlete in the entire show. And if he can keep things rolling along at this pace, odds are that he'll end up surpassing that look. With some healthy new muscle and a crazy level of conditioning, you might want to keep Aragorn in mind as a dark horse for a top five placing when things go down in Miami five weeks from now. If you thought a little something like a fractured elbow was going to keep Valeria Amarato away from the gym, you'd be dead wrong. Despite being saddled with a bulky cast, the German bikini phenom was right back in the gym training legs this week as she prepares to bring her many talents stateside to compete in the Dennis James Classic in June. Last season was by far the best of Amarato's young career as she managed to collect three straight top ten finishes to cap things off. If she can get out of the cast and back to functioning at 100%, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised to see her keep that streak alive as she makes her way through the 2016 contest season. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. 
make your mark. Check out ironmaglabs.com today. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Hey guys, it's Stevie B here. If you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button below and never miss another RX Muscle show, segment, or update. RX Muscle is number one. Woo!